days, hen likes to go to a Ibiza or Barcelona or somewhere, not the Weatherfield Arms. They're going for a meal first. Oh, good deal. And the Weather Arms has got a disco one. A disco? If you want a good night, Bev, you avoid the word disco. A lot of the best nights I ever had were in discos. Yeah, well, that would end. Hey, it's not so long ago. Look, nowadays, if someone calls itself a disco, it's just sad. Rope lights, day glow orange posters, middle-aged men with no sense of style, that's what disco means. No, if we want a good night, we're going to have to go into town. That's where the decent fellas will be. A lot of our ends are no spring chicks, you know. They may not want to go into town. Yeah, well, I'm the bridesmaid, you're the bride's mum. If we say we're going into town, the rest will follow. We'll put it to the vote. Yeah, well, let's make sure that they vote for town. Because I'm going to pull tonight. Dude, I'm just saying that men are pathetic. All of them. Hunks, horrors, married or single, they're all the same. You turn them on, you flatter their egos, they can't help themselves. You can tell you're in the middle of a divorce. No, it's not that I don't like men. It's just that I don't trust them. Well, they're not all bad. There are still some loyal ones around. <laughs> there isn't, you know. The better I'd be, my daughter's getting married in a couple of weeks. You know, well, apart from our Peter, for obvious reasons, I could get any man I wanted into bed. Not any man. Get him into bed isn't the problem, Bev. It's keeping him there, that is. I know one man you couldn't get into bed. Who? Him. <laughs> I could. I used to think the same. I even tried chatting him up myself once. But there's one man who's genuinely loyal to his wife. No such thing. Apart from your Peter. Apart from our Peter. Thanks for letting me know. I could get him into bed all right. I just don't think I could actually do anything when I got him there. <laughs> Can you imagine it? What's happened? It's Uncle Bates. Marge has had a stroke. Come and sit down. Um, she was mowing the lawn, apparently, and she just collapsed. Is she, uh... She's in hospital. Uh... You think... You honestly think that he would choose her over me? I'm speaking from personal experience, don't forget. If I couldn't get Roy Cropper into bed, I'd give it up now. I'd join an honorary. All right, put your money where your mouth is. Just get him into bed, mind. Not actually do out. You and him in bed together alone. I bet you can't do it. You're on. How much? A penny. A penny? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be doing it for the money, would I? What would that make me? So, why do it at all? To prove a point. What point? That no man can be trusted. Are you trying to tell me something about Peter? No, I'm talking about men in general. Do you think Shelley's making a mistake? No, she loves Peter. And he loves her? Yeah, and she's entitled to try and live the dream, even if it don't work out. I did it, why shouldn't she? It's not just a dream. Some women have very happy marriages. It's still possible to find a loyal husband, and that's an example of one right over there. Right then, to take the bet. All right, you're on. A penny. Right. Because he's not a loyal husband, they're not even married. They are? No, they're not, not properly. She's not a real woman, she's had one of them sex changes. So? So, I bet you that Roy Cropper has never had a real woman. I bet you he's gacking for it. He's not like that. Yeah, he's a bit odd, maybe, but below the belt is still a man, like any other man. So, now you know the little secret. Do you want to back out of the bet? I already knew, and I think he's happy with Ailey. Do you want to go and see them? It was a nightmare when I was going through my troubles. I know, but do you want to go? No, no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'll, I'm going to be late for work. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah go, goodbye. Yeah. You've got no chance. You haven't seen my legendary charm yet. You'll get a little preview of it when we go into town tonight. If we go. Right, I'm going to go and have another stab at Roy. You don't think we should knock this on the head, do you? Why? We've had a bit of fun. A joke's a joke. Yeah, and a bet's a bet. It looks like he's calling me over. <laughs> See you later. Mind if I join you? Uh, well, actually, I, I'm, I'm rather busy. Well, just for five minutes. I'm sorry about the hen night, by the way. I was um, a bit drunk. Yes, well, it, it was rather unsettling. What are you reading? Th this, that's the highway code. I'm, I'm about to start driving lessons. What, you can't drive? Not yet. That's bold, starting at your age. It doesn't feel especially bold. Well, you'll soon get the hang of it. It's them boring old rules, that's the drag. <laughs> well, I find them quite interesting, actually. It's just depressing how many are flaunted on a daily basis. Does, um, flaunting upset you, Roy? Sorry? Flaunting, does it upset you? Here, for instance, um, a goods vehicle with a maximum laden weight of over 7.5 tonnes are forbidden from using the right-hand lane of a motorway where there are three or more lanes. 
yet when Hayley and I hired a car last summer, we saw many such vehicles contravening that rule. Is that what you and Hayley talk about? Buses and coaches over 12 metres, they're forbidden too. That, that, that's interesting. You know, I think I'd want to warm things up a bit if I was in a car with you. Also, uh, any vehicle drawing a trailer. Well, let me have a look. Hmm. Lots of very naughty drivers out there, Roy. Well, I made a start. I really think we should call this off, you know. Are you scared you might lose? No. Look, I'm just getting a taste for it. It's going to be hard not to crack, but I'm going to do it. Oh. Hiya. Well, I thought my uncle. Yes, how, how is Auntie Marge? Much the same. I just wish I could go and be with her. It's so selfish of him. Yes. I'd be a help to him apart from anything. Are you OK? What, y yes, yes, fine, yes. Hayley, I, I don't look different in any way, do I, recently? I don't think so, no. I mean, I don't appear different in, in manner, for example. No, why? What's brought this on? Nothing, nothing. Just, just wondered. Hi, Roy. Roy, hi. Oh, uh, hello uh, again. Is that seat taken? Well, soon will be. No, I meant... Um... How are the driving lessons going, Roy? Fascinating. <laughs> Yeah. It's for me. Yeah, the, the press is just offering some very, very useful advice. This is really... You know, Robert was the impatient type. He'd have a heart attack if there's so much as check me air in the mirror. You can imagine how jittery I used to get. Could I have some ice? That's not a conducive relationships, full stop. Don't let Hayley get in the car with you until you've got the press certificate. We'll end up hating each other. But now, that, now there, I think you're wrong. Look, practice short with someone who's calm, someone you can rely on and have a laugh with. You know, I'd take you out. I, well, I don't, I don't think I'm ready. Well, we can start somewhere quieter if you don't fancy these busy roads. It's, it's very kind of you to offer. A car park or, you know, maybe a country lane. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit previous for me, yeah. The key to being a good passenger is to stay encouraging and not to lose your cool. Is that cool enough for you? What are you doing, you stupid cow? Not that stupid. What is the matter with you? What's the matter with you, Tracy? Can you someone seeing a bit of happiness without wanting to break it up? We were having a friendly chat. That was not friendly. Come on, let's get you out of those wet clothes. Hayley? Did it rattle you? Can't you stand the competition? You were no competition. Oh, aren't I? I think we'd better ask Roy that. Let's go home, Hayley. <sighs> Women like you make me sick. Oh, what? The sort with real breath and ovaries? But take that back. No, that's enough. Hey, that was a yeah. that you could do it for that. Why don't you? Why are you having a go at me? You're desperate. Desperate? I'm desperate. I could have any man I wanted. Not any man. Well, any man but you. Oh. Oh. Come on. They don't stay around long, though, do they, Tracy? No, when they find out what you really like. Hi, Tracy. Hiya. Hiya. You must like weddings, you. Well, we found one of the bridesmaids. Where's that friend of yours, the good-looking one? Inside. So aren't you going to introduce me? Sorry, Andy, friend from the Navy, Tracy. Family to Peter. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Are you here on your own? For today, yeah. Well, we can't have that. Hey, leave that man alone. This is consecrated ground we're on. I'd seek sanctuary if I was you. Anyway, I just want to have a quick word with the young lady. So you're in there, there. Funny old wedding, eh? It's a farce. Aren't they all? Yeah, well, this is a bit special when he's already married to someone else. That's a matter for Peter, and one he's going to sort out once you and me keep stone and give him a chance. If we do, yeah. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God and the Father and the Holy Spirit. In the presence of God, and before this congregation, Shelley and Peter have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Take each other by the right hand. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Now, would you please kneel for the blessing? 
God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please him both in body and soul, and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Now, so he's got all these shops. The many is it? Why does it matter? Uh, ten, a dozen shops. Seven. Seven. So what I'm saying is, all that does is make you seven times more a shopkeeper than the poor man that only has one. Now, is that really any great achievement, or is that not just a terrible way to be spending your life? And what's your achievement? Me? You, yeah, that's doing all the talking. My achievement is to remain a free spirit in a world that does its best to grind you down. Just like it's ground down poor death here. Excuse me? You see, that's where you're wrong. It hasn't ground me down. I'd say you spend your evenings like Fagin, counting your takings. Well, you can probably hear in the middle of the It doesn't define me, it doesn't make me... Well, hang on a sec, I'll so go somewhere quiet. what does define you? Mm. Life, my relationships with other people. I don't think we want to comment on them. Thank goodness for that. No, no, no. Let him comment. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. And I should be. I should be ashamed. And what have I done to be ashamed of? Do you mind telling me? Why are you just boring us all to death? Just stop it, will you? Else I'm going to sit somewhere else. I mean it, I am. Hey, what have I done? You just keep going on and on and on. I'm sure everybody else is just as fed up as I am. Listen, love, I'll have to be getting back. I'll talk to you later, OK? Yeah, bye. I wondered where you got to. <sighs> Couldn't hear a word in there. <laughs> oh, sorry, have you just come to fetch me? No, no hurry. Actually, I was glad of the excuse to get you on my own, away from that lot. <laughs> Even so, I think we should probably... Uh... I mean, what can be more boring, eh, than all that yakking on? You know, you and me can think of something more interesting to do than that, surely. Do you know who I was talking to just then? Um, you know? <laughs> my fiance. In a couple of weeks' time, it'll be our turn at the altar. Well, it's a good job she's not here, then, is it? Sorry. But I wouldn't be too proud of myself if I did anything behind her back. What are you? Nothing special. But you see, she is. I don't believe it. Another Roy Cropper? You and him are aliens, are you? Planning to take world over, make everyone boring and faithful. Sorry, what? I'll forget it, yeah. Sorry. All the years that I spent propping up the bar in the Rovers, I never dreamt that one day my son would be marrying the manageress. <laughs> <laughs> or that I would want him to, thinking of some of the ladies who run that establishment. <laughs> but I, I would like to say, and um, I just want to be serious for a moment. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would like to say that I couldn't be more pleased at what we've all witnessed here today. Yeah. My son, Peter, marrying Shelley. Shelley, who is a wonderful, kind, warm-hearted young woman who I know is going to make Peter a wonderful wife. Yeah. 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 Right, so, she's wonderful. We all know that. But what about him? Oh. Well, I happen to think that he's pretty wonderful too. And what's more, I know from what he said to me, he is determined to be the husband that Shelley deserves. So I'm sure that they're going to be happy. Just I'm equally sure everybody here is delighted on their behalf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I just say, excuse me, but I am part of this family. Yeah, all right, uh, Tracy. I'd just like to say, speaking as someone generally not in favour of marriage, how much I hope that Peter and his new wife will be very happy. Well, well I'll drink to that. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thanks, Tracy. Right, well, carry on, then. Yeah, right, well, uh, <clears throat> all that's left for me is to uh, ask you to be upstanding, to raise your glasses, and to join me in wishing good health and every happiness to Peter and Shelley. Peter and Shelley. Shelley. Private celebration. Oh, yes. You'll have me falling over. Well, that's what I intend doing. <laughs> so there is to do. Oh. oh, well, have a dance. Get yourself entwined round one of them young men. Don't like dancing. You don't like. No, you didn't dance at the end night, did you? Well, now's your chance to make up for it. 
I was too busy looking out for your shadow. Well, yes, I've forgotten about all that. Did you ever find out what them drugs were? No, I must have thrown them away. Something to knock you out, probably. Hey, Roy, aren't you talking to us or what? Oh, yes, of course. How are you? We are very well. We are you. getting better with every drink. <laughs> Sit down and have a glass of bubbly. Oh, no, I, I think I'll stick with the fruit juice if it's all the same to you. Oh, for goodness sake. You will not stick to fruit juice. This is my daughter's wedding. You'll have a glass of champagne. I think you should do as you're told, Roy. Well, I suppose one glass won't do any harm. That's right. You and I have still got a bet on, remember? What bet? Oh, just a bit of silliness. There you are, Roy. Get that down, you. Yeah. And don't worry, we won't tell Hayley. <laughs> right, well, cheerio, then. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Very palatable. By the way, if you're wondering where Hayley is, she's looking after an aunt who's not very well. Oh, well, here's hoping she's leaving us somewhere. <laughs> you don't really believe that, do you, Roy? Pardon? There's no aunt. She's got another fella. It's just to cover up. Take no notice, Roy. What did you have to say that for? That's all I'm allowed to say. OK, and now we're going to do the okie dokie. Come on, everyone, the book! The okie dokie! Ah. Hey, press the ladies. No, no, I, I think... I'm... No, come on, no argument! Yeah, we can all do this. Come on, Trace. <laughs> no! Oh, suit yourself. I'm going to get another bottle of champagne. One won't be enough. Finished. Oh, there you go, Roy. Oh, That's uh, yours. I thought I'd drunk most of that. Yeah, well, tops it up for you. Come on, drink it. Looks like you need it. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Now it's time for the barn dance. Come on, take your bands for a barn dance. Oh, a barn dance. Come on, Roy. I love a barn dance. Yeah, well, let him have his drink first. Come on, Roy. Drink it, all of it. That's it. Mm. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have had that second drink. It's usually the seventh or the eighth that gets me. Yeah, but it's when you're not used to it. I think I'll rest for a bit. I wish two glasses did that for me. Excuse me, I'd better find out where Gerald's got to. Oh, theory? Why not? <laughs> Tracy, do you want to. Um... No, I'm having a rest. From what you've done now? Come on, love, I'll dance with you if you don't mind an old woman. Ah, you don't look old to me. Hey. Somewhere a bit quieter. Yeah, that, 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 that would be... Ah! Oh, I've got you, Roy. This way. Oh. Take, take it slow. Oh, dear. So we'll get you out of here, eh? Somewhere a bit quieter. Yeah, that, 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 that would be... Ah! Oh, I've got you, Roy. This way. Oh. Take, take it slow. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. It's all right, Roy. Just sit down on the step. Look, you're all right. You just had too much to drink, yeah. that's all. <sighs> Do you want us to get you home? Home, home, yeah, yeah, yes, that, that, that would be... I'm out for a taxi. I'm fed up with this place anyway. I'll come back with you. I want to sleep. Of course you do. Yeah. On oh. oh, the Wait, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll soon have you home, Roy. Is that a good day, then? I don't know what oh. he's had. <laughs> Thank you. You know this doesn't win you your bet. You were meant to do more than just take him home drunk. I know what I've got to do. Are you sure you don't want to take him to his place? Would well, you want to go home in that state? No, we'll let him sober up a bit first. Right. Come on, my mate. No. Come on. No. Oh, yeah. You can't stop there. Mm. Will you open the door? Yeah, yeah, right. Come on, mate. Come on. Take it easy. Watch it out. I'll tell you what. Uh. Yeah, lucky man you are. 
I'm sorry. You've got an angel of mercy. You've got the seats here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can you walk a bit? <laughs> Come on, Roy. Mind the Come step, on. yeah? Uh, walk. That's it, Roy. Come on, man. Doing fantastic. Oh. You could be all right with him. Fine, yeah. Um, thanks ever so much. All right, cheers. See ya. See ya. Bye. Right. Come on. Oh. Let's get oh. you upstairs, eh? Oh. I'm ever so sorry, Hayley. I'm... No. I'm ever so sorry. It's all right, love. I'll let you down. No, you haven't. You just need to lie down, that's all. So we'll just get you to bed, eh? Yep. Come on. Come on, Roy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Here we are. Oh! Are you, are you coming to bed with me? Of course I am. Let's just get your clothes off first, eh? 